guys welcome back to the channel this is the car from Scotland uh, this car had a seized engine and we already finished with the job we took it for a test drive and we noticed a couple of mistakes what happened during during the time we worked on the car so uh, first of all the car has lack of power and it's also the turbo is, is very noisy and we fitted a uh, reconditioning we already recon reconditioned turbo uh, in this one and we carried out a little investigation and basically we found that the turbo shaft the big turbo shaft when when it's over 3000 revs the shaft has a quite big play so we have to contact the, the company who did the, the work for us. So either way, the engine has to come out uh, and then we're gonna figure out what's the next step. Um, the question, who's gonna pay for this? So that's gonna be the second time we're gonna remove the engine. Other than that, everything is fine with the car. Um, all the values are good. Uh, oil pressure good. Everything is fine. Um, I just quickly want to show you uh, the damage what happened before. So I'll show you. So this is the crankshaft from this car. If you come closer, you can see the damage. So this is the main bearings. Um, and you can see still a couple of uh, bearings stuck on because the heat. So I, I can remove it, but all the metal particles are still here and look that's how it looks like so that's what happens when you keep driving the car with no oil pressure basically so this is not something uh, we can probably if we fit a new crankshaft this this is sorted but also the the corn rods are damaged and you can see the I'm not sure how this part is called the bottom bracket of the engine uh, also scored and uh, and it's uh, not something is uh, ec um, yeah money wise it's not really a good decision to to repair uh, and the same here on the cylinder on the head block cylinder block sorry you can see the middle one is is quite bad so all of these gonna go to the scrapyard uh yeah so the next step is gonna be so the next step is gonna be uh take the engine out figure out uh what turbo to fit because we we have second hand turbos we already have three turbos which is already refurbished uh, we might gonna contact the customer and we're gonna decide what's the next step and that's it pretty much 